Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back on the show, and I'm going to talk about some wrestling news. Um, so I'm going to do, do separate AEW, WWE videos, like title of those, like AEW news, WWE. I'm just going to get back to the wrestling news, uh, picking back up. This is uh, episode number 35. Haven't done any few months, so, so I'm going to get back into it, talk about some wrestling. Since uh, most of my videos today have been football related with the NFL, three or four recaps, and watch those, go watch those, and my college football video, give my thoughts on the playoff rankings, the top four. So I want to talk about some wrestling, uh, some of the news uh, today, since I haven't really recapped Raw or SmackDown recently as much, so. The first thing I want to talk about is William Regal. So, um, via Sean Ross Sapp, um, well, as rumored, William Regal is, um, is effectively done with AEW. FightfulSelect.com is told. So, William Regal is effectively done with AEW. That's why they done that angle with MJF. The Verizon Halftime Report. Um, that's why they done that angle with MJF where he turned on uh, William Regal, hit him with that knuck with the knuckles, as to a perfect way to what right William Regal off TV and get some more heat on MJF after uh, betraying William Regal. But I also feel like he's kind of sent there as a spy from WWE. For some reason, I don't know why. I just feel like he's maybe sitting there as like a spy, and it, he'd be there for a little bit, then he'd be done with AEW, and he'd come back to WWE. So definitely interesting, though. Definitely, definitely interesting. So I think while this is a huge loss for AEW, my opinion, because William Regal's doing some of the best work of his career with the Blackpool Combat Club. This is a huge game for WWE. Uh, in my opinion, it's a huge game for WWE. Big loss for AEW because he's one of the best things on the, on the show. But it was, but it's good for MJF because you get more heat on MJF after he betrayed William Regal, hit him with the knuckles and rode him off TV. Perfect way to get some heat on MJF, changing the belt ugly to like get some heat on him and the thing William Regal. But I'd like to see William Regal go back to WWE. But who? We'll see what he does. But I like it. Uh, Dustin Rhodes, he uh, announced that uh, 2023 will be his last year wrestling. So uh, Dustin Rhodes announces this year or next year will be his last year wrestling. Then he's going to retire. Um, but I think he's one of the most underrated wrestlers, and uh, and I still think his power slam is one of the smoothest moves uh, ever by any wrestler. And that's the only other wrestler I've seen come close to like a power slam that looks crisp. The only other one I can think of does it really that crisp is uh, Ray, Randy Orton. His move sets are really fun to watch. Like the top rope, her spin out spin out spine buster, the shattered dreams. He's a legend. You think of his battles with Bret Hart, Triple H, uh, Razor Ramon, and partnering with Booker T. And of course, it, that one match in AEW had with a uh, Cody before Cody Rhodes left and went back to WWE. I think you should get a short TNT title, or at least a short little run, at, le at, at least for the company he helped be, at least for a little bit. So, you know, AEW, they also filed a trademark uh, for, uh, uh, they filed a trademark on Hat Trick, so they, uh, so it's, it is not known yet. It's not like yet known how AEW used to trademark an AEW TV in recent weeks. Uh, Jake Hager's worn a purple bucket hat and he likes that hat. 
I'd be lying if I didn't lie up, start laughing after reading this, man. Scott told me to choose my dream. Now my dream is to see Scott and James. But that's the point. Like, wrestling isn't that serious. Like, people say, oh, I feel sorry for him. Why do, hat, hat, why do the hat thing make him look fearless and laughable? Well, that's the point. Like, he likes the purple hat. He, like, he, he has worn a purple hat. He likes that hat. Like, wrestling ain't that deep. But he likes the hat, I guess. Uh, last night, I, I, I went having worked one WWE main roster match since she first got signed. Scarlett was listed for a dark match internally, but it didn't end up happening. So she was uh, listed for a dark match internally, but it didn't end up happening for some reason. I'm not paying to read the article from Sean Ross Sapp. If y'all want to read it, pay and read it. If y'all are on his thing, then you can read if you want. But she can go in the ring. I don't know why Daddy B doesn't give her more matches. Cause she can go in the ring. Like it's not like she can't wrestle. Like she, she's she can wrestle. She's good high candy and she's a good wrestler too. So I don't don't really get it. Scorpio Sky was cleared for return. Details on absence. So the reason Scorpio Sky. Uh, wasn't on AEW TV was because uh, he, he he was dealing with a leg injury uh, after that TNT World Title match against Wardlow, so uh, he took some time off and now he's back. I felt the best p place for him at this point is on Rampage. Um, they're just he's a mid carder right now. And there's I felt that's the best place to put him was just just. I, the main show with Dynamite's just stacked right now, so that's the best, best place for him, in my opinion. Uh, Kevin Owens feels like it's possible he could show up to an independent show, at an independent show. I would believe if someone from Japan or independent shows up at the Rumble, or if AJ shows up in Japan with, like, the Good Brothers. But I feel like he could possibly do that. But, I don't know. Uh, Stop polluting Kentucky's water like even fresh off the ground. Some more news. Uh, Sasha Banks revealed on Twitter she wrapped up her first movie. So she officially wrapped up her first movie appearance. So there's that. Uh, Roman Reigns was hated after WB Survivor Series War Games match. Um. And it wasn't because of a back or in back injury or whatever. This is old news. Uh, this was a few days ago. But secondly, if someone unplanned a spot and smacked my eardrum and busted it, I would be a little upset if the match just nothing would be in a crybaby. Like because because if you if it's an unplanned spot and somebody smacked my eardrum and busted it, I would be a little upset backstage too. So. I know this is old news, but I'm just looking at through uh, Fightful Wrestling's uh, Twitter account. Uh, Kurt Angle says Brock Lesnar was interested in wrestling for TNA. So he said uh, Brock Lesnar was interested in wrestling for TNA. Which would have definitely been interesting. Uh, Kurt Angle and TNA and Brock Lesnar and all the others back in the day would have been stacked for TNA. WWE Talent says the culture has improved since Vince McMahon's retirement. I mean, that's a no-brainer right there. It's a no-brainer. See, no one liked Vince. I mean, funny enough that happens when you cut out the cancer of Vince McMahon, the culture improves. See, that's more news. No catches in the last four quarters of the jungle. And that's all I've talked about. But that's all I've wrestling video, so I'm doing some more wrestling news coming up, along with the NBA, NFL. Just keep myself busy with like NBA, NFL, MLB, wrestling, the college sports going on. Along from the for the bowl for the bowl games coming up in a few weeks. So I'll see you next month. Peace.